in the BGP world, we use the next hop self command many times. But in BGP root reflector solution, this command will not work. The reason is root reflector will modify next hop attributes only for roots that are learned from he BGP peers and not the intended roots that are being reflected from the root reflector clients. Let's see this issue in our scenario and check out what is the workaround. In our topology, we have R5 and R4 as a root reflector. R2 and R3 are in one cluster and both of them are root reflector client. R2 connects to R0 with eBGP. R1 is the root reflector client of R4 and finally, R6 is non-client. In the first step, I want to advertise 192.168.6.6.32 into AS100 via R2. I will configure next hop self on R2 toward R5, let's see the result on R5. Let's see the BGP configuration on R2. As you can see we have two neighbors. Now let's go to R5. Without next hop self command we cannot see the BGP route into routing table because the next hop is inaccessible for R5. So return to our 2 and configure next hop self for R5 and see the result. First we soft clear the BGP session between R5 and R2 using root refresh capability. Now check the result again for 192.168.6.6. Now we have the root in our BGP table and chosen as the best path. Based on our topology, we know that R5 is a root reflector. Here is the root reflector configuration. Now we add next hop self command for our neighbor to update the next hop attribute. Let's go to R3, clear the BGP session softly and check out the reflected route. We expect that next hop for 192.168.6.6 is changed to R5 itself. But the result is something totally different. Look at next hop. It's still R2. And of course inaccessible. Because, as we talked earlier next hop self command is not working in root reflection solution. The workaround for this issue is to add a critical keyword at the end of the next hop self command. That keyword is all. When we type all, it means that we change next hop self not only for ebgp roots but also for ibgp roots. So let's issue the command and recheck R3. Now, as usual, we clear the BGP session softly and see the effect of our change. As you can see now, the next hop attribute of the reflected root is changed to R5 and the root is accessible for R3. You can also see the root in the routing table of R3.